Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. In this video we are going to create a complex shape. By creating more than one shape on a single shape layer. We can then control how those objects interact with each other using the merge pass command. So, the first thing we want to do is make sure none of the layers are selected down here in the timeline. Then go up to the tool panel and let us choose the pen tool. I will click and hold on the pen tool to make sure that. That is the tool you may have some of these other tools active just make sure you have chosen the pen tool. Then come over to its options. You want to make sure it has a white fill and no stroke. If you see something else you can hold down Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac. And click directly on the box and cycle through each of the different options until you get to the no symbol for the stroke. You can do the same for the fill, but once you get to a solid color go ahead and click in that color and make sure to choose white as a color. Once we got that squared away. Let us go to the lower left corner of the composition panel. And enable title and action safe. That way I can create my shape based on the center point of the composition. So, I can see this more clearly all press the period key to zoom in and the composition panel. If you zoom in too far you can press the comma key to zoom back out and I will click once to add a point. I am not holding the mouse down I'll go ahead and come down right over top of my center point, and I will click and drag out to the right, so that I get this teardrop shape. Now let goes of the handles, and come right back up here and I will click once on the first point, and you can see we have created a teardrop shape. If you need to adjust the handles just hover over the handle, and go ahead and click and drag to adjust. If you need to move the points you can click directly on a point and just make sure that this bottom point is set up on the center point of our composition. Now press B on your keyboard to grab the selection tool and no longer select the pen tool. And then we can go ahead and select layer 1 in the timeline and press UU to open its unique options that we have set up. So, we have created shape 1. So, I want you to go ahead and click on the name shape 1 because I would like to create a duplicate of that shape. And just so we can see the composition more clearly. Press the comma key to zoom out in the composition panel. With shape 1 selected here in the timeline. Press Ctrl D on Windows. Or Command D on the Mac. To duplicate that shape. Then open options for shape 2. And open its transform options. Let us go ahead and scrub on the scale parameter and scale this up all set mine to the value of 157. Now let us create a complex sheet by subtracting the first shape from the second one. I will scroll up in the timeline so I can see my add button here. Now I am going to click on the word contents once. Just to make sure that's selected and then I will go over to add and I will choose merge paths. Merge paths merge the paths of any shapes above the merge paths command if they are in the same group. And these are all in the same group. So, open the merge pass option and change the mode from add to exclude intersections. And now we have got a more interesting shape. To take this to the next level let us add a repeater. Scroll to the top click on the word contents again. And then go over the add button. And let us add a repeater. Open the repeat our options. And open its transform options. And let us change the position parameters back to 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y. Then scrub on the rightmost rotation parameter until you get something around 120 degrees. And now we have created a relatively complex shape. So, once you understand how multiple objects can be created on a single shape layer with the add button you can see the creative options become virtually unlimited. what you learned, how to create custom shapes with the pen tool, then add complexity using the merge paths command, and repeaters create a custom shape with the pen tool 1. Make sure no layers are selected in the timeline and choose the pen tool from the toolbar. 2. Adjust the fill and stroke options to set the fill and stroke colors and styles. 3. Click in the composition panel to add points that define the shape and drag to round the shape of the path through the points you created. 4. Click back on the first path point to close the path and create a custom shape. 5. Use the handles and drag points to customize the appearance of the shape. 
Add complexity to a shape using the Merge Paths command 1. Select the shape layer in the timeline and press UU to open any previously customized parameters. 2. Select the name of the shape to duplicate in the timeline and press Command plus D, Macos, or Control plus D, Windows, to duplicate the shape. 3. Adjust the shape transform controls of the duplicate shape so that it is no longer the same as the original shape. 4. Select contents on the shape layer, then choose the Merge Paths command from the Add button in the timeline. 5. In the Merge Paths command, change the Mode drop-down menu to specify how the overlapping paths will operate with each other. Add more complexity to shape with a repeater 1. Select contents from the shape layer and choose repeater from the Add button in the timeline. 2. Adjust the repeater transform options to customize the appearance of the duplicate shapes created by the repeater. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.